You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today we have a brand new face for Greater Brockton, Judith Casimir from Inspiration for Tomorrow. Welcome, nice to meet you. Thank you very much, nice to meet you too, Mark. Well, Thank you for having us. A new organization that I didn't know about before, Inspiration for Tomorrow. I like the title. Yes, thank okay. you. Um, how long has the organization been around? The organization has been around since 2010. Okay, 2010. I'm surprised I didn't know about it, but we're going to let everybody know about it now. Yes, um, thank you. So you are having an event at the um, Haitian Assembly of God, our neighbors right down the street on Pleasant Street. Yes. Um, I'm trying to remember the, it's two, it says 204 Court Street. Court Street. Okay. And um, so it's called FETS. I like, I like the little acronym here, which stands for Freedom, Expression, Non-Judgmental, Courage, and Enthusiastic. Yes. I mean, that's, that's easy to remember. Yes. Okay. So you're preventing, uh, October is domestic Violence Awareness Month. Oh, yes, month. yes, yes and it there is. are a lot of different organizations. It's it's great. The more the the more organizations, the merrier, because unfortunately, it's a very serious issue yes, that affects it is. a lot of people. People are afraid. The victims are afraid to come out, and they're yes. afraid to, you know, report because it's going to uproot and change their entire lives. What are you hoping to accomplish with this event? I am hoping to, to accomplish a lot from this event because some people think that. It's only women that gets affected with um, domestic violence. It's women, men, and children. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to get everyone to, that's, that are victims to come out and break the silence, speak up. Mm -hmm. you know, speak up and let somebody know that you, you, know, you are in, you know, having, you know, you're getting abused, and we are here to help. I want them to know that there's people out there to help. Now, are you the director? Yes, I am. You're the director. So 2010, you founded the organization. You're yes. a nonprofit, yes. 501c3, yes. which means you can accept donations if people want to help you out, correct? Yes, and correct. And we'll, we'll do your address and all your email and phone number later. Why did you start the organization? Were you, were you a victim? I started this organization because I am a survivor myself, mm -hmm. and I know how it is to keep um, silent and not talk about it and just taking it in. And for years, I took it in, and I finally broke out years ago. And I want to give out. I want to give back to the others. I want to let others know that they're not by themselves, and that there they are organizations out there to help them, to, to provide resources and any type of help that they need. OK. And uh, I, I teach at Massasoit. I teach public speaking. And occasionally, my students will talk about this. Um, They'll actually, in the class, kind of self-identify that they might have been a victim or they were a son or a daughter of a mm -hmm. victim, you know, their mother or, you know, it could be a father, like you said right. before. We know children are very affected by yes, this. Yes, um, yes. I once aired a public service announcement, like a commercial, that had a kid on a set of stairs and you saw his eyes when he heard the slap. It was a very powerful public wow. service announcement. And uh, kids... Kids are absolutely victimized, traumatized. It can last them their whole lives. Yes. So the the, the event specifically, it says it's it, you're in conjunction with a company called uh, a group called Black Lipstick Conversations. Yes, this, uh, that's my partner. We partner up. This is another organization. She is out in Hyde Park, mm -hmm. and she is having a, a the same event at Hyde Park Library on October seventh. Okay. From one to four, also. Okay, so if you can't go to that one, you can go to the other one. Yes. Um, let's let's just get some of the, the logistics out of the way. Phone number, website, Facebook. Can you tell us what that is so we can put it up on the screen and people will know how to get in touch with you? Okay, I can be reached at 508-857-3997. My um, website is www.iftinc.org. And for the Facebook, it is um, facebook.com yeah. um, slash help and break cycle, break the cycle. Help and break the cycle, okay. So you're also um, being involved, you, you, it says we will be the host of the silent witness. 
yes. provided by Reach Beyond Domestic Violence in Waltham. What's the silent witness? The silent witness is um, different um, exhibits mm -hmm. in that we will have um, to represent victims that were um, um, that were abused, abused or... and died by to our side. Um, and you're gonna have a candlelight vigil. And we're gonna well. have candlelight vigil. Okay. And we will also have a clothesline project. I was just gonna ask that because I've seen the clothesline project yes. before. So the time on Saturday the 14th is three to seven thirty. Three to seven thirty. So four and a half hours. Different things are gonna happen during that time. Yes. And you know, I I, I can't stress enough that. Um, don't be afraid to come out and talk, okay? I mean, yes. what, what victims have to go through, you know, they get cut off from their friends, they get cut off from their family, they get isolated. So your basic message is you're not alone. There you're not people alone. out there to help. You're not alone. Okay? Now, are you Haitian American? Yes, okay. I am. So is this an outreach to the Haitian community, the community at large? It's, it's at the Haitian church, but it doesn't matter. It right? doesn't matter. It's outreach to everyone. Okay. To everyone that is in need of help. Not just the Haitian community. It could be Cambodian, American, Spanish, anyone. Might be a good, uh, good opportunity if people are really worried about coming out that maybe if they're not Haitian, they come to a Haitian event and that could be almost a yes. you know, uh, cover, so to speak. I'm not gonna give that away. <laughs> but no, seriously, I think what you're doing is a good thing. Now, do you rely, I'm sure, being a nonprofit, nonprofits don't have a lot of money. No. But do you have like a volunteer board of directors and volunteers that help people? Yes, we do have a couple of volunteers. Um, and that helps out and we do, um, we do outreach. We do have support groups every week. Okay. We have support groups, um, and we have prayer, um, a prayer line that every Saturday we have a prayer group um, okay. that people can call if they need prayer. And is it based at the church? Um, uh, no, it's not. It's not based on the church. It's um, it's a conference call. Oh, a conference. Call. Yes, okay. we have so phone what, number for. What's the number for that? Um, it's. Okay. I had the number, but you I know don't what? have it. Oh. Just, just, you can give it to me and we'll put it up on the screen. We'll yes. The magic of editing. Yes. Okay, so no, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. <laughs> so um, I got the two-minute cue. Is there anything I missed asking you that you want to get out there and then I'll, I'll summarize at the end? Okay. Well, I just want to get out there. Like, I want to let everyone to come out and support. I just want to let everyone to, to come because the victims, they really need. Mm -hmm. um, the support, they need to know that someone is out there for them, that everybody's out there for them. So if every, anyone can come out and just support the event and let them know that we're here, we're here to help. Sounds good. So I get the last word, I get the one minute. So there's an event happening on Saturday, October 14th from 3 to 7.30 at the Haitian Assembly of God of Brockton, right here in Brockton. Uh, the phone number to call, 508-851-3997 if you want more information. They're going to do some raffle tickets. There'll be food and light beverages. Yes. But most of all, go out, get the help. Or if you know somebody and you're not the victim, bring them. Yes. So they get the help. Well, well, we'll follow up with you and we'll bring you back and we'll publicize your organization. Very Thank nice to you. Meet you. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champion.